Hey everyone, so in today's vlog, um, so as if it's a bit echoey, I'm in the bathroom, um, I'm going to be dyeing my hair. So as you can see right now, um, well firstly I've just had a haircut, my hair used to be like down to here. Yes, I'm wearing my old JLS t-shirt because I use this for dyeing my hair just because it's like an old t-shirt, RIP JLS. Um, I was a huge fan, um, but anyway, I just wear this t-shirt to dye my hair. So, as you can see, my hair is kind of this weird faded grey sort of colour in the bathroom, it looks more purpley. Let me just go out of the bathroom so I can show you what it actually looks like. Okay, so in this, okay, in this light it looks green, I don't even know, in every room of my house it looks different, but this is my current state of hair, and then I've got my roots which are like down to about here. And for those of you asking what my natural hair colour is, like if you can see this colour, like up to about here, it's kind of like a dark blonde naturally, uh, I don't know if you can see. But yeah, um, today I'm going to be dyeing my hair, not really sure what colour, because I'm doing it over grey, like I have no idea how well it's going to go, um, but I'm planning on doing it a kind of dusky pink colour, so I thought I would take you guys with me. So I've already got my gloves on, excuse the swatches on the back of my hand, I've then got a hairbrush which I use for dyeing, I've got my like dyeing brush thing which I literally got on eBay for like 99p, um, I mix my hair dye in these plastic like... Um, takeaway containers or like tiramisu containers and then I've got two clips to section my hair and then I've got a stained towel down on the toilet so that I don't stain it and then on the floor I've just got this uh, lovely pink towel and then here are my hair products so the colours that I'm using today are from Colour Freedom and um, they really kindly sent me some stuff, not sponsored, but um, they basically asked if I was planning on changing my hair colour. And I was like, yes, actually, I would quite like to. And they were like, oh, we'll send you some stuff. So thank you very much to Colour Freedom for supplying me with these goods. But I've got Mystic Purple. Um, and then I've got... And then I've got Pink Pizzazz, um, which I think I'm going to mix together. And then they did also send over this one, which is called Coral Blush. Which I take it is kind of like a reddy sort of colour. Maybe this is because I tweeted that I wanted to dye my hair red. I really do, but I'm not that brave. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I could like mix a bit of that in as well. Um, I've then got a bottle of the pastelizer to like, you know, pastelize it down. And they also sent me some of their hair products as well. So I've got some vitamin oil. I've got some heat shield, which always comes in handy. Um, the hair detox kit, which I'm really excited to use. Um, what's this little one? Some pure shine hairspray. And then some shimmer cream. That sounds interesting. So yeah, those are the products I'm going to be using. So let's do this. So this is really unflattering lighting. I've just propped you up on like a little ledge. The pastelizer is like, I feel like this is kind of just like conditioner. Like I normally use conditioner. Okay, focus. Hello. I normally use conditioner to like mix in with my hair dye. And I kind of feel like this is just sort of conditioner. It smells nice. Um, so... I'm just dumping this into here. Yeah, it just says deep conditioning professional formula with shea butter and argan oil. So I'm good, just going to squeeze in the whole tube and then probably have to add conditioner because I've got quite thick hair. I know it doesn't really look it, but I do actually have a lot of hair. Okay, so this is the amount that we got in the pastelizer. I feel like that's definitely not going to be enough to do my whole head. So I'm going to put in some conditioner. I know that's probably not a good idea because it might like react if it... Okay, it's not going to react because it's like semi-permanent stuff, but... It might not stick to my hair as well. I don't know. Let's just give it a go. Normally when I'm dyeing my hair, I just kind of take it as it goes. So I found a bottle of Tresemme, which is pretty handy. Because for a second I thought I didn't have any. So I'm going to start out with this much. That might actually be too much. Um, yeah, it just looks like this. So I'm then just going to add in the Mystic Purple and Pink Pizzazz. Um, I don't know how I'm going to show you this. Okay, so here's my bowl. Let's, let's try and put in like a little bit of that at a time because I have no idea how strong it's going to be. Sometimes when you use like um, brightly coloured dyes, they're like really, really vibrant. So, oh yes. <laughs> the great thing about dyeing your hair pastel colours is that it's so cheap and it's so easy to do from home. Um, because obviously, like you just saw, that tiny amount of purple went such a long way. Um, and if you like, if you're doing pastel colours and mixing it in with like a pastelizer or conditioner or whatever, then you literally need the tiniest bit. So the actual bottle of dye lasts for ages. That is such a pretty purple colour. 
Okay, so that is the result I've got. I'm just going to mix in a bit of the pink pizzazz. And probably a bit more purple as well. Let's give this a go. Oh, that's very vibrant. <laughs> okay, I feel like the pink pizzazz wasn't as bright as the purple one. So now I've got this kind of like pinky purpley sort of colour. I want it to be a bit darker though, so... I don't know whether to test the coral one. I'm just going to test a bit of this like corally one. This one's a lot runnier. So just adding a tiny bit of the coral. I'm literally just experimenting here, guys. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so I've added in this much more. I'm sorry I can't see my face, by the way. Oh my god, this might be too dark. I want it to be a kind of like pinky purple colour. And this looks pretty pinky purple to me. Okay. I feel like this is good. I feel like this isn't going to show up on my hair, but we'll give it a go. I didn't even section my hair, I completely forgot. I guess I'm just going to slap it on. Oh, it smells so good. By the way, I know that it's most likely not going to take to my roots, just because my roots haven't been bleached, but that's okay. Oh, I've already dropped some on the floor. That went on my slipper. My slipper is white. I now look like a bald old man. <laughs> I'm just going to put this all over my hair and if it's not dark enough then I'll just add some more. And as you can see there's no particular method to this. I literally just get some in my hands and rub it into my hair. Let's give this a brush. So this is the current state of me. I've made an absolute mess. I managed to get some on the wall. Sorry mum. It did come off but I got some on the wall. This is what the bowl is looking like. I spilled some on there. I spilled some down here. I spilled some over here. Spilled some on my slipper, which is white. And hopefully nowhere else. I've also got it literally all down me. Like, look at this mess. Uh, I managed to get it on my nose. It's all over my face, like literally all over my face. And apparently my arms too. So this is what the colour's looking like. I did put on a bit more, like I made up a slightly stronger mix and then put that on because I felt like I hadn't put enough colour in. And because I obviously I am dying over my grey hair, I felt like I just needed a bit more colour to like make it work. Um, and I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I feel like it might not actually come out really at all because... I do feel like I still could have like mixed in more colour because I don't know I was just a bit scared to like put too much in but now I feel like I might have not done enough so who knows we'll see. I haven't actually read the instructions to see how long I'm supposed to leave it for so I probably should have done that before I started. I'm not a good role model. It's a whole instruction manual. By the way I have used the grey one of these before but I just can't remember what to do. <laughs> I'm assuming you just leave it for like you know half an hour like I normally do. Okay, so it says, for bold and vibrant times, develop your shade for 30 minutes. I'll be back in 30 minutes. So I've left it on for like half an hour, uh, probably just a bit over half an hour actually, because I got distracted on my phone before I set a timer. Actually, no, I set the timer for 20 minutes, so yeah, probably about half an hour. Um, so this is what the colour is looking like. I feel like the colour has got a little bit stronger. I'm now going to wash it out and I'm nervous. Okay, so here's what my hair looks like wet. I'm just going to turn on my light, actually. <coughs> Whoa, that's really, really blue. Um, Yeah, that looks really purple. So now I'm just going to dry it, and then I'll show you guys the finished result. So... <laughs> I just dried it, and under my bedroom light, it seemed like it was, like, not showing up at all. And then I turn on my big softbox lights, and it's literally... Bright purple. It was supposed to be pink and somehow I managed to end up with purple hair. I don't know, is it purple? It's kind of like a pinky purple. I guess this is sort of what I was going for, but just a little bit more purple. I don't even know. Let's go over here by the soft boxes. Yeah, see, when you come over into this light, it looks way more purple than pink. I don't even know. Also, it makes my roots look way more obvious. Because obviously before the grey kind of blended in with them, but now it does not. 
so I've just styled it and this is this kind of colour that it will be in natural light because it's like my soft box but let me just show you in the bathroom see over this side of my room it looks a little bit more of like a pinky purple but then in the bathroom in the bathroom it literally looks pink like this is the colour that I had intended it to go but it came out a little bit more purple than I anticipated yeah it was supposed to be this sort of colour <laughs> I just have to live in my bathroom <laughs> Come on, people, subscribe! Merry Christmas. <gasps>